button, you have to have a Google account to join. Okay. Oh, Kim, Kim, you're already in. I see you, Kim. Kim, your webcam is frozen. You might need to refresh the page. Okay. Try just uh, clicking this link and refreshing the hangout. So let's start with Frank. Can you introduce yourself and tell us about any pets that you have? Okay. My name is Frank. Frank. I am from Italy. And um, yeah, I used to have a cat, but um, I left him. Uh, with my mom when I moved here from the countryside because uh, I think uh, it's better for for the for the pet for the cat and uh, the countryside is uh, a better place for for him. And when did you move? Five years ago. To you live in Rome, right? No, no, in Bologna. Okay, and why did you decide to? Why did you decide to move? Because of my job, uh, and of my friends. Most of my friends live live here in the city, and uh, I was tired to drive uh, to the city every day. <laughs> yeah, it can get tiring. <laughs> yes, now I can walk to work uh, only four minutes <laughs> walk. Awesome. Okay. And uh, hey, Mal. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. <clears throat> so can you introduce yourself and tell us about your pets, if you have any, like a cat or a dog? Hmm. Myself, doc Dr. Malsing Dillon from India. I am running a, a clinic and I used to Go to the clinic from morning to 2.30 p.m. and then evening 4 to 6 p.m. Okay? And do you have any pets? Uh, any cat? Any pets? Like a cat or a dog? No, I have no pet. No pets. I do you want no... any pets? Would you like to have no. a pet? I am not interested in pet. Okay. I don't like. Okay. And um, hey, Meliani. Pardon? Uh, Milani? She's sitting beside you. I don't think you have a microphone. Uh, Nico? Nico, yes, are you sure. there? Hey. So could you introduce yourself yes, for us? I am. And tell us about a pet, if you have one? Sure. Uh, my name is Nicolas. I'm from Colombia, South America, and uh, I don't have pets, but I like really pets, especially dogs. So you'd like to get a dog sometime? Sure. <laughs> okay. Sure. And what about you, Benji? Absolutely. Benji? Benji, I can't hear you. Benji, try saying something. Oh, it's not working again. <laughs> Don't know what the problem is. Um, hi, Kim. Kim Michael. Hi. 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 It's working. I can oh, hear you. Can you. Yeah. And I can see you. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Um, can you introduce yourself? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Indonesia. And my name is Michael Kim. And I'm just a, a college student. And what are you studying? Studying in Venus, Binansan, Tara, I think. Cool. Uh, ah, yeah. Nice. nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Samantha. 
Okay, so today um, we're going to be talking about phone etiquette, so how to appropriately talk on the telephone, okay? So I'm going to give you guys some tips about kind of good ways to speak on the telephone, and then we're going to do some practice and role play uh, a phone conversation. Um, let me know if you're having trouble hearing me. I have some connection problems today. So tell me if, if I sound like a robot. Okay. I am fine. Okay. So far, I can hear you very well. Perfect. Okay. So tip number one. Um, let's begin with a simple situation. So just click on my camera down at the bottom and you'll be able to see what I'm showing you on the screen. I can also yeah, give you... Okay. Tip number one. Um, yeah. Frank, can you read the first tip for us? Okay. Tip one. Let's begin with a simple situation. The phone rings. Ring-a-ling. <laughs> <laughs> and the caller asks for you by name. You say, speaking. This is appropriate for any phone call, business or personal. Please don't say something like, yeah, that's me. Right. So all you need to say is speaking. You answer the phone and someone says, may I speak with Samantha, please? I would just say, speaking. That's it. That's all you need to say. Don't say, yeah, it's me. Or, yeah. I'm here. That that can be um, a little bit rude. Unless it's your best friend, um, it can be construed as a little rude. So all you need to say is speaking. So sp speaking is anyway correct and kind. Yeah, it's um it's appropriate whether it's a business call or it's a personal call or any type of call. Um, it's appropriate for all levels. All you need to say is speaking when they ask for you. So normally someone would call and say. May I speak to Frank, please? And if it's you that's answered the phone, all you say is speaking, and then they know it's you. And it's it's not rude or, or too informal or anything. It's fine. Okay. And then tip number two. Um, Benji, is it working? I yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Uh... Benji, can you read number two? Oh, now I can't hear you. <laughs> May I read? It? Okay. Uh, Mal Singh, can you read number two? Yes, okay. Now the phone rings, ring a link, and the caller asks for someone you don't know. Yep, keep going. Polite. Is, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. If you are in a workplace, you could say, I'm sorry, there no one right. here by that. So, day. the easiest way to answer is, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. So, if someone calls you and they're like, Hi, can I talk to Bob? and no Bob lives there, you say, I, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. And usually they'll just say, Oh, okay, sorry, and hang up or something. Okay? Um, if you're at work, you could just say, I'm sorry, there's no one here by that name. So this is a little bit more professional if you're working in an office. And this is just simple and polite. That's fine for any context, really. I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Okay. Um, tip number three. Um, the, sorry, this is for a company makes from the office or makes no. from the home? At home. At home. So if I if I called you and I was actually trying to call um, my friend Joe and I called the wrong number, all you say is I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. You can say that at home or you can say it at the office. Because it's it's mm -hmm. fine either way. Because uh, sometimes you don't you don't you are tired or are in 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 not good humor and maybe you answer in the wrong way or, or bad, you know? Yeah, so... You know, it's polite. Kind I, I of mean an that. impolite way to answer would be like, no, wrong number. That's a bit rude, right? 
If I said, is Peter there? And you said, no, wrong number. That's a little bit rude. Spectacular. But if you say, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Root. That's much more Excellent polite. root. <laughs> Or if you just say no and then hang up, that's very rude. <laughs> so that's n not exactly advised. The best way is to just say, I'm sorry, <laughs> the wrong number. Or you can say, I'm sorry, there's no one here by that name. That's kind of more professional and it's more for if you're in an office where a lot of different people work. Okay. Um, let's try tip number three. Uh, Nico, can you read tip three? Nico? Okay, Zinyu? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can okay, hear you. Zinyu. Okay, Zinyu, would you like to read uh, tip number three? Yes, I can. Wait. It's on my screen right now. Is uh, tip tip number three? Do you see it? If you answer the phone and it's a call for another person in your home or office, you can see one of two things. One, if the person is able to talk, see. One moment. May I ask you who is calling, please? Two. If the person is not able to talk, see, um, she isn't available right now. May I take a message? Less formal would be, I'm sorry, he can't come to the phone right now. Would you like to give a message? Good. So, um, again, you can use either of these at home or in the office. So you can either say, one moment, may I ask who's calling, please? That's very polite, and it's fine to say at home or, or at work. Um, same thing, if they're not available, you can say, I'm sorry, she isn't available, may I take a message? Also perfectly polite to use at home or at the office. A bit less formal. You could say, I'm sorry, he can't come to the phone right now. Would you like to leave a message? That's a little bit less formal, so you would probably only use this last one at home. He can't come to the phone right now. Okay. So saying she isn't available is a little bit more um, professional sounding or a little bit more polite than he can't come to the phone. Okay. Okay. Let's look at tip number four. Um, Frank, can you read tip four? Okay. <clears throat> ring a ling. You answer the phone, but you really don't have the time to talk. What do you tell the caller? If it's a business call, you can say, I'm very sorry, I'm not really able to talk right now. Could I return you? No, could I return your call later? If it's a friend, you can say, hey, how are, how are you doing? Listen, can I call you back? Right, so it depends on who you're talking to, right? So if it's a business call or it's, it's someone at work or it's like your doctor or somebody um, that you have a professional relationship with, you can say, I'm very sorry, I'm not able to talk right now. Could I return your call later? So that's a professional way to answer if you're too, if you're too busy. Um, if it's a friend, hey, how you doing? Listen, can I call you back? Or you can just say, hey, sorry, I'm busy. I'll call you right back if it's a friend. Or I'll call you back in a minute. I'm in the middle of something. Okay, these are kind of less formal ways to say that you're busy. So that's kind of how you would answer to a friend, okay? But the most professional and polite way is, I'm very sorry, I'm not able to talk right now. Could I return your call later? 
Okay. Um, tip number five. Tip number five from uh, Michael Kim. Are you there? No? Okay, I'm mousing. Hello? Hello? Hey, can you read uh, tip number five for us? Okay. The caller said something that you didn't hear or didn't understand. If it's a business call, you can say, I'm sorry, could you please repeat that? If it's a personal call, you can say, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Please don't say something like, who was the say? What did <laughs> so, What did you say? What, huh? What did you say? So that's, say? that's a little bit rude. <laughs> so um, if they say something that you didn't understand, you can just say, I'm sorry, could you please repeat that? Or you can say, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. So it depends on if it's business or personal. If it's someone you have a professional relationship with, you'd probably say, could you please repeat that? And if it's a personal call, you say, I didn't catch that, sorry. But don't say, huh? What? <laughs> it's kind of rude. Just can say, I ask huh? you something, Samantha? What? I don't get it. I didn't hear you. Yeah? Hey, can I ask, ask you something? Sure. Yes. I have a question. Uh, if I don't, uh, uh, how can we remember all of this kind of uh, professional way to answer the call? Answer the call uh, because there is a, a, a some, and you use maybe one or two. How can we remember that? Um, That's my question. It's pretty much recommend? just some, something that you'll need to practice. But it ta like if you look at this website a few times and then take a few phone calls, you'll kind of get the hang of it. And um, also, when somebody calls you on a professional call, they'll be calling you with a very professional way of speech. They'll be like, "Hello, may I please speak with um, Nico?" And you would, you kind of recognize immediately from their tone that it's professional. Or if it's a friend, hey, is Nico there? That's much less professional. So you can kind of gauge by the conversation um, how to respond to the person. And to remember, like, what to say exactly, um, I guess it's kind of okay, just thank you. Very much. You can just read over the different points. Thank you very much. And uh, tip number six, um, Zinu. Uh, I will try. Often you need to end the conversation. So what? This my magnify it. If it's a friend, Magnify. you can see. Um, I can't make it any bigger, person. but I've and given you the it. link. Here's the link. Okay. Sorry, okay. Zinu, can you start again? Often you need to end the conversation. So what you can, so what can you see? If it's a friend, you can see. Hi, Nathan. I'm sorry, but I. But I got her. But I got her. Go right now. I'll talk to you later. Okay? You met and take care. If it's a business call, it's fine to connect this. I'm so sorry. I'm afraid I have to go now. But I'm glad we got the chance to talk. Perhaps we can talk again sometime soon. Say next time. Say next week. Say next week. Say next week. So, um, to end the conversation, if you have to leave, if it's a friend, you can say, "Hey, listen, sorry, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Take care." Or, um, you can just say, "Hey, I gotta go, but we'll." We'll catch up later, or something like that. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Um, but yeah. if it's a business call, you want to be a little bit more professional. 
and say, I'm afraid I have to go now. Um, perhaps we can talk again sometime soon. So you want to kind of have a more professional register to your voice than with friends. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> it means I have to go. I gotta go. I have to go. Oh. Yeah. So with with um go. with a friend you would say sorry, I gotta go. Talk to you later. With a a business person you would say I'm so sorry. I'm afraid I have to go now. Perhaps we can talk again sometime soon. You see the difference? It's much much yes, more professional to answer someone or to tell someone you have to go like this. Rather than just, hey, gotta go, talk to you later. That's some a way that you could end a conversation with your friend. Okay? Any questions about my tips? No? Okay, well, I've given you the uh, Yes, I have one. Yeah. When we answer to a call, and if I'm not wrong, uh, I have heard that we can... Uh, uh, answer this, uh, for example, this is me. Um, yeah, you could say, if somebody says, um, may I speak with Frank, please? You could say, this is he. Or if you say, if someone called and said, may I please speak with Samantha? I would say, yes, this is she. Ah, okay. Even though it's it's a little bit off you should say this is him or this is her that's not how you answer you can you can say this is he or this is she it's also uh, very polite it's just as polite as saying yes speaking mm -hmm. okay, yeah. okay you probably wouldn't say this is me but you could say this is he <laughs> this is Benji yeah you could say this is Benji this is Frank this is Samantha you can say your name yeah. but if I am answering for myself I, I, I can't say, uh, yes, I am. That's you not correct. You can say, correct. yes, this is Frank, or you can say, um, yes, Frank here. <laughs> ah, okay. That's yes. very business-like. Yes, Frank here. It's very business-like to say it that way. Got it, thanks. Yeah. Frank here, this is Frank, uh, this is he. Or you can just say, speaking. I'm Benji? No, you wouldn't say, I'm Benji. No, but you, you could say, it's Benji. Yes, it's Benji. If you say, I'm Benji, it's like you're telling them your name. You're like, hello, my name is Benji. And they're like, okay. So it's not rude. It's not rude. It just doesn't sound quite right. It sounds a little bit off. But no, it's not rude at all. Um, it's a little bit rude to, to say, yeah. <laughs> so if someone says, may I speak with Frank? You're like, yeah, it's me. Or yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'm here. It can be a little, little bit rude to just be like, yeah, yeah, it's me. You, you want to avoid saying yeah and yup and things like that. It's a little bit rude. So you can say speaking or yes, uh, yes, it's Frank. Yes, Frank speaking. You could say yes, Frank speaking. But when you're talking, when you uh, are talking with someone friend that is friend to you, you have to yeah. be so uh, in this way professional or because no. you have if confidence with him friend, or her if your best friend calls and they're like they'd probably say something like hey um hey is samantha there or hey is sam there and you'd be like yeah yeah what's up yes right? your best friend yeah what's up right so it's completely different um if you're talking to your best friend or one of your good friends yeah what's up or yeah hey it's me those things are fine with your friends, but but not with a business relationship. Any sort of professional uh -huh. relationship, you want to be more. Polite. It's like this. This tip is like when you are in the office or for business or for or for polite uh, commercial relations, right. no for friends or relatives. Right. So I if think? you if you answered the telephone in an office in your own office. Mm -hmm. Um, and you said hello, and they said hi. May I please speak with Nico? And you said yeah. What's up? They'd be like, uh, <laughs> Gee, <laughs> you'd catch sure. them off guard, right? right. It's very, uh, it's it's a lower register, so it's a little bit unprofessional. To say that. Um, 
But you, you're fine to say that with your friends. Um, you would definitely catch someone off guard if you were like, yeah, sup. <laughs> They'd be like, oh. <laughs> okay. Um, this is, this is, well, uh, this is, um, is it right for telemarketing uh, sales phone calls or is it different? Anything, any sort of professional relationship. Any professional relationship. So if you're, it could be a marketing or sales call, it could be um, uh, a doctor, um, some okay. sort of professional that you have a relationship with that's calling you, uh, your boss, someone at work. Anyone that you have a professional relationship with. Okay. So you know the difference between professional and personal relationships? I so think so, but if you want to remind me, I really yeah. appreciate So a professional relationship is any relationship that you have with someone um, on a professional level. So somebody like um, your boss at work, that's a professional relationship. Or your psychiatrist, if you have one, would be your professional relationship. So when you're talking to somebody where you have that sort of business or professional relationship, you speak to them differently. A personal relationship is like your friends, your family, um, people that you're very close to and comfortable with. Those are your personal relationships. So you, you answer differently to different people. Yeah, you can say, what's new, Benji? But th again, that would be for friends. So what's new is, is more personal. Um, and Nico, you're breathing really heavy into your microphone. Pull it away a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, you can say what's new, what's new, what's happening, what's up, how is it going. Those are all kind of ways to friendly answer a phone call. Oh yeah, hey, what's up? What's new? How's it going? Right? That's how you answer when you're talking to a friend. But if your boss is calling, you probably wouldn't say, yeah, hey, what's up? That's a little bit, um, a bit too, uh, too informal. Okay. What's going on is also possible. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? What's going on? And it's usually more like this. What's going on? Turns into a little bit of slang. What's going on? How's it going? Yep. Yeah. How's it going? And again, those are more for uh, like personal phone calls than professional. Okay, should we do some practice? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. Um, I have another question. Can I do something? Yep. What is the difference between uh, how's going and how are you? Uh, by phone, um, for example. Pretty much the same question. If you because ask I, someone I, how's it I, going, I, They'd probably say, oh, it's good, everything's good. Versus if you ask, how are you? They'd say, I'm good. So how's it going just means, like, how's your life? How's everything in your life? Because I am I am hearing about uh, always how's it going and no, how are you in the phone conversation in the real life. I don't know. You say you hear how's it going more than you hear how are you? Sure, absolutely. Um, um, in the in the phone and in personal, person, uh, face to face. In yeah. what way? I don't know. I still say, "How are you?" I mean, it just depends on the person. I think "How's it going?" is is pretty informal, but they it's pretty much the same question that you're asking. Like, "How's your life? What's new? What's going on? Um, how's it going? How are you?" Both they're fine. How are you doing? Yeah. How you doing? Have you uh, seen that? Which, of, oh, which, yeah, boot, uh, which boot of them uh, do you usually do more in your life? How's going or how are you? Mm. Both. <laughs> I don't have I don't have okay. one that I use more than the other. No. Yeah. Okay. And there's not really any particular reason why you would use one or the other. They're just kind of both like friendly greetings to ask someone, you know, how's life? It's another thing you could say, how's life? But that's but usually... But definitely you don't use these uh, questions in, in a professional relationship with someone. Definitely not. Absolutely it not. 
I mean, it kind of depends on the relationship. If if you're talking to a salesman who is like selling you a television, you probably wouldn't be asking him, "Hi, how are you?" Because there's no reason for you to know how he's doing. Um, you generally okay. ask personal questions to your friends, like, "How are you? How's life?" You wouldn't generally go up to your boss and be like, "Hey, hey, boss, how's life?" Right? <laughs> it's yeah. not as yeah. not as likely that you would um, be asking a personal question. To a, someone in a professional relationship, but if you did want to ask it, um, you you wouldn't say how's it going in a professional relationship. You might you might ask um, how are you. Oh okay. So it um, I would say how's it going or what's up. It's not really appropriate for a professional relationship. Okay. Thank you very much. But how are you kind of goes for everything for everyone. It's fine. Um, okay, let's let's do a little role play. So I'm gonna share my screen. Person A, you're calling your friend Ken. You want to invite him to a party this Friday. And person B, you answer the phone. The person on the other end of the line wants to speak to Ken, but you don't know anyone named Ken. <laughs> okay, so you want to kind of use what we were just talking about. Um, good phone etiquette. Keep in mind, this person is not your friend. It's a random person that you've never met. Okay, So you want to be a little bit more professional with them. And think about what I said to tell someone if, if they call and you don't know a person. Okay, So maybe um, person A could be uh, Frank. And um, Benji, is your microphone working? No. Okay. Um, Hello, oh. teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, Tang. Uh, 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 thanks. This is my first time to enter this uh, classroom, so I don't know what the rule of there. Okay. Um, we're in the Kalingo chat, so I'm gonna share my screen and show you what I mean by that. The problem is uh, that I can't see your screen. Because I am in China, I use the proxy server. Okay, and over the network is not stable, so I just can listen uh, to your voice, but I can't see you. Okay. And my screen is uh, totally blank. Okay. Well, you can still kind of follow along. Um, you can. I see you can type in the chat. Y um, yes, yes, I can type it in the chat. Over at the mm. left, do you see where the Colingo chat is? You have uh, chat, screen share, and then underneath screen share, it should say Colingo. Uh, I can, uh, yes, I can share my screen. No, where it, where it says Colingo, um, so... Um, I, I know, I know, there is a Colingo, but I can't click this button because if I click this button, my browser will collapse. My browser will break down. So oh, I have okay. to uh, restart my browser. Okay. I, I did understand. this several times and it doesn't work. Okay, well right now we're just about to do a phone um, role play. So when it's your turn, I'll just type what you need to do into the chat for you, okay? Okay, thank you. So, um, Frank, you can, I'll share my screen again. So, Frank, you could be uh, person A, and maybe uh, Malsing, you can be person B. Okay. Sir. Sir, could you give me some time? Pardon? Give some help. Sure. Um, again, I just want to tell you, you only use sir when you're talking to men, and you use um, ma'am when you're talking to women. Sir. Okay. I can give that friend some help. Pardon? Pardon? Uh, I know, I know how many. He, he said my Where? brother is broke down. Where? Broke down. He wants to have me. Okay. Teacher, I I can speak in Chinese. Oh yes, yeah, sure. 
Okay, I can I can speak Chinese too. I'm Chinese. 哎，你好。喂喂。哎，你好。你你能听到我吗？我啊，我是用的那个谷歌，我是我是用的那个谷歌服务器，那我，呃，用的那个 Go Agent。哦。你是用的什么？哦、um,。If you guys want, Xin Yu, you can、uh, click on the blue, click on the blue chat. 你你现在的网。Xin Yu。你这个网速快不快？我我我网速是十兆的，电信的。It, guys。哦哦，你现在在中国哪个地方吗？ Uh, okay. 我我在上海，你在哪里？ Okay, Zinyu and Tang. If you guys want to talk、um, in Chinese, you can click on the blue chat up at the top, and you can type to each other there. Okay. So、um, you can type in in whatever language you want there. Okay. 喂、right. ，你把你的 QQ 号打打在那个聊天聊天的地方吗？ Zinyu, if you want to speak with、uh, Tang, you can type into the blue chat up at the top, and you guys can speak in Chinese there. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> just if you if you want to help Tang, it's fine. But、um, you can just do it right in in the chat up at the top. Okay, or in the、um, Colingo chat. Okay. So let's try this again. So Frank, you can be person A. You're calling your friend Ken, and、um, Malsing, you can be person B. Okay, Mal, are you there? Okay, yes. Okay, but so,、uh, the teacher. So I want I want us to do it two times. The first time, let's do it properly, where you're answering the phone and you're being very polite, and then the second time we'll answer and we'll be kind of rude. Okay. <laughs> I don't. So we'll do it twice. The first time, I want you to be polite and answer politely, and then、okay. the second time, we can you can be a little bit more informal. Okay. Okay. So the the first time,、uh, like、uh, as for example, business school. Yeah, the first time you're going to be nice and and polite and answer properly, and then the second time, I want you to answer how you shouldn't. So be kind of rude, okay? So we'll do it twice, okay? So、um, go ahead whenever you're ready, Frank and Mal. Okay. Hello. Hello. May I speak?、Uh, hello. May I hello. speak to to Ken? Hello, I am speaking. Hello,、uh, may I speak to Ken, please?、Uh, please let me know who is Ken. Okay, so the the polite way would be、um, to respond to that, if you guys remember from the phone etiquette thing we were doing, is I'm sorry, you have the wrong number, or I'm sorry, there's no one here by that name. Okay, I'm sorry. You have the wrong number. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, so now let's do it a second time, and this time you guys can be rude. Okay, <laughs> so this time answer and speak in a way that is kind of rude or not how you should do it. The opposite of what you should be, of what you should say. Pardon? This time you can answer again, but you want to answer rudely or use kind of the opposite of what you're supposed to say. So informal and kind of an inappropriate how how not to answer the phone. Do you understand? No. In okay. What I mean? Pardon? Please repeat. How should、okay. I talk? I'll type what I'm saying.、Um, This time, have the same conversation.
Okay, so this time have the same conversation, but you should demonstrate how not to speak on the telephone. This should be a rude version of the conversation. Do you understand? Maybe um, we'll have uh, Frank. Frank, do you understand? Yes, but uh, okay. I have to be rude too. <laughs> yes. Uh, both rude. Yes. Me and uh, okay. And uh, Mal, do you understand? Maybe uh, Firkin, do you want to try? Yes, I can try. Okay, so let's do Firkin and Firkin and Frank. So. Uh, Perkin, Frank is person A, he's calling for his friend Ken, and you answer the phone, but you don't know anyone named Ken. So you want to answer rudely. We already did the polite way, so now we're being okay. rude. This is how not to do it. <laughs> okay. Call me Frank. Okay. Ring-a-ling. Um, hello. I Hi. want to talk with friend. No, uh, sorry. I want to talk with Ken. <laughs> Ken? I don't know anybody with name Ken. Are you sure about that? Yes. It must be it must be no. there. I want what? to call with him. How did you get my number? <laughs> this is not Ken's phone, okay? But I want to talk with him. It must be there. I want to call with Ken. Frank call or something? Because I don't know anybody. Can. Hi. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> can you hear me, please? No. Uh, yes, Taiba, I can hear you, but we're just in the middle of a conversation, so just wait one second. I can hear background noise. Look, what is your name? Okay. Hey. <laughs> um, sorry, but there was a background background noises and uh, I couldn't hear very well. It's okay. Uh, so okay. Like, bye. Hey, what's your name? Stop calling. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Shut, the, right. shut the telephone and don't call me again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I will. Oh, a way you can say that, freaking is that. Uh, you slam down the telephone. You don't shut. You don't shut the telephone. You, like slam the telephone down. <laughs> Be like, leave me alone. Me and Furkan have have troubles with cats and uh, bad calls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try another one. So, uh, person A, you want to reserve a table for five at the restaurant called the Slanted Door. So you call the restaurant and make a reservation for 8 o'clock this Saturday. Person B, you work at the restaurant. You're answering the phone, but the restaurant is completely booked. Okay? So we're going to do the conversation two times. The first time will be very polite and professional. And then the second time, it will be an example of how not to have this conversation. Okay? The rude way. So... Um, would anyone like to try? I think we must be creative. Yes. So, um, Zinyu? Zinyu, would you like I'm to here. try? Okay, I'm here. Zinyu, you can be person A, okay? And, person uh, A. and, uh, Mitaib, are you there? Hello? Hello, teacher? Hello, you can yes, be a I'm here. I'm here. person B. Okay, Mitaib? Yes, I'm here, you, teacher. Okay, so, um, Zinyu, this, I'll type your role for you. This is your role, Zinyu. Uh, yes. And Mitaib, here's your yes, role. Yes, do you understand? So the first time you have the conversation, you guys are being very polite. Okay. Okay. So go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm ready. Thank you. But now I have uh, I have uh, to go, but, but I have a lot thing to do. 
Okay. Then I have to go now. Okay. I'm so sorry, teacher. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Um, I think I can take her hit, please. Okay, Tang. I'll give you your role, Tang. Your... Here you go. So, um, Tang, you work at a restaurant, you answer the phone, and you're telling him that it's completely booked. So we'll do it twice. The first time first time is polite, second time is rude, okay? So Zing Zinyu and Tang, whenever you're ready. Uh, okay. So I need to uh, ring him and book a, a dish or something. Right. Yes. Um. Zinyu, Zinyu, you call Tang to book a res uh, reservation at the restaurant. And Tang, you're telling him that it's completely booked. There's no spots available. Oh. Okay. I understand. Go okay. ahead, please. So Zinyu, go ahead, and you can call Tang. May I speak to Tang? This is Tang speaking. I want to. I want to book uh, some. I want to book some food. Uh, what food do you want to book? So you say, um, I want to book a reservation. Oh. I want to book uh, some reservation. Okay. I'm afraid I want to there book are, a reservation. I'm I'm afraid that there are no more uh, uh what reservation? I'm I'm afraid that there are no more reservation here. So you can say I'm I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, there are no more uh, reservation here today. Okay. Maybe you can book it tomorrow. Okay, Thank Zinni. you. I will call you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. So now we want to do it again, but this time it's the rude version, okay? The so man time, need to be rude? Yeah, this time you're going to be impolite or a little bit rude. This is how you should not have the conversation. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Zinyu. Yesterday I call you, but uh, you see the 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 restaurant is uh, booked. I'm sorry. Today. What do you book yesterday? Your restaurant is uh, empty. Did you come to my restaurant yesterday? I didn't see you yesterday. I I, I called you yesterday, but uh, you say the restaurant is uh, completely booked. I was uh, here uh, yesterday. The whole the whole day, uh, the, I, I don't think you called me yesterday. Maybe you called me, but uh, but uh, uh, we are we are off duty yesterday. <laughs> Good. Let's <laughs> then what you say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's. <laughs> good job, guys. Let's, let's do another example. Um, Firkin, you're high advanced, so if it's too slow for you, that that's probably wrong. Um, let's do another example. Um, you need to make a doctor's appointment because you hurt your back while you were cleaning the house. So you're going to call the doctor's office and make the appointment. Okay. Person B, you work in a pediatrician's office answering the phone. 
Uh, a pediatrician is a doctor for children. So evidently, this person A has called the wrong doctor, okay? They've called a child doctor. Person A, let's pretend they're like 90 years old and they've hurt their back, okay? And they've accidentally called a pediatrician. So we'll do it twice. The first time they'll be nice and polite. And the second time, it'll be kind of the rude version of the conversation. Um, who would like to be person A making a doctor's appointment? Maybe I like to be the first person. And um, I like to be about, the uh, one mouse? who's hurt. The one who's hurt? Okay, so person A is Tang. And person B, maybe. Uh, Firkin? Okay. Okay. So, Tang, you're, you're injured and you're calling a doctor for help, but you've accidentally called a pediatrician, so a child doctor. So we'll do it twice. First time we'll be nice and polite, and the second time is rude, okay? So you guys can go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay, call me. Uh, hello, is that Dr. Chen, please? Yeah, I am Dr. John. How can I help you? Uh, my back hurt yesterday, so I, uh, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm 15, and my back hurt yesterday when I'm, when I was playing football, so, uh, I want to, uh, want to see if you are available tomorrow. Sorry, I'm a pediatrician. I can't help you. Maybe I can refer you to another doctor that can help you. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I called the wrong number. Yes, you did. <laughs> that was a little rude. <laughs> you could say, yes, you have the wrong number. <laughs> what should I say after? Yeah, that's uh, fine. Then you say, okay, thank you. Goodbye. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Okay, now let's do it again, uh -huh. and this time um, it's it's what not to do. So this time it'll be a little bit rude, okay? Okay, start. Okay. Hello, <laughs> go ahead. Hello, is that hey. Mr. Tim, please? Uh, hello, is that Mr. Tim? Yes, I am John. How can I help you? Mm, my, my back hurt. When I was playing basketball, uh, I was uh, hit. I, I was hit by a, a bad guy. So I'm coming to here to have my bed checked. You know, it's not my problem. I'm a pediatrician, and I can't help you in any way. You find another doctor that can help you, and I don't need the whole story that you tell. I don't need to learn that you're basketball or other things. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, your, your English is... Uh, you're better. mean. <laughs> you're your, mean your English is better than me. Which one of us is doctor? I am the doctor. I studied six years in the medical schools, and you don't know even which doctors what to do. Please close the telephone and find another doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I have to find another doctor for my bed check. You are not you you are not uh, polite to me. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job, guys. Okay, let's try one more. Um, your friend, person A, your friend just borrowed your car to go get some more beer. Call him to remind him to get some chips and salsa. Okay, and person B, you just borrowed your friend's car to buy more beer. You've just driven into a lamp post. <laughs> You're not hurt, but the car is badly damaged. Your cell phone rings. Okay, so these, um, remember that your friends, you're like best friends, so you can be more informal in this conversation, okay? So how about um, Frank, do you want to be person A or person B? Frank? Mm. Uh, yes, uh, I could try with person A. Okay, 
And who wants to be person B? Um, maybe uh, Mal? Mal Singh? Yes, okay. Okay, it's person B. Okay? Okay. So go ahead. Um, Frank, you can call him. And Mal, you just crashed your friend's car. Okay? <laughs> go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Telephone ring. Um, hello, Mal. Hello. Um, I want to remind you we need uh, some chips and salsa too. Could you buy them too? Is everything hello. okay? Hello. I'm sorry to say that I have got an accident into a lamppost and I cannot come I cannot come early so please wait for me for some time until I arrange for some another vehicle to come back then I will bring some chips and salsa <laughs> oh my god but uh, are you kidding I hope <laughs> thank you, you it was say, my I new car <laughs> I hope you are kidding. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah. That was my no, new I car. I am saying actual. Oh my Hello. god. Hello. No, I'm I'm going to fall down. Frank is Frank is very angry. You just crashed his car. <laughs> I'm going to fall off my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Benji says, "Tell him you're bleeding and and maybe cry. Maybe then he'll he'll take some pity on you." <laughs> okay, good job, guys. Um, okay, we're just about out of time. Uh, here's another practice exercise for you, <laughs> and um, hopefully I'll see you guys in class uh, on Thursday. Okay, if you don't have me, uh, you can add me on Facebook here. Does anyone have any questions? Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay. I Thank you, question. Samantha. <clears throat> bye, welcome. bye, everyone. Oh, <laughs> he's out. The teacher is gone. The teacher is gone. Yes. <laughs> Can you don't go? I want to talk Okay, to okay. You. I I'm I'm staying here. What do you want to do? May I have you? Can we 